in 2009, when I was a builder developer and I had about 30, $40 million worth of product uh, in progress and completing, and I was trying to get my permanent financing on it, my only experience was from basically, you know, 1997 on, it was just everything goes up. Everything sells for more. You, you, you sell something today, you can sell it for more tomorrow. And it just went up and up and up. And we hit a little peak, 0405, market cooled off, you know, pulled back a little bit, and then it shot back off to that peak in 0809. And, you know, what we all learned was at the end of that, there were no buyers. You couldn't finance anything. Uh, it was it was really an amazing time. This is very different now because of the levels of inventory. We don't have any inventory all across the country. So in the housing market, you know, it's, it's a very different time. Um, and that's why development is so exciting right now is because there is no inventory. So builders, if they could get the labor and build is, you know, full on for the next 10 years, they still won't be able to build enough inventory to satisfy demand. Problem is delivering that at the right price. Uh, so there's big demand in housing. There's big demand in multifamily. There's big demand in uh, some commercial assets, uh, you know, but the key is going to be the availability of credit and the cost of that capital. And that's the big risk that we're facing is credit markets really freezing up because of the hiking that the Fed's done and the capital that's getting withdrawn from the system as they reduce their balance sheet.